The question relates to the steps that he and his um, state agency under his remit are taking to ensure supply of office and uh, manufacturing facilities generally, but particularly in the Galway city and county areas. Raising this question, um, the um, an adequate supply of office and manufacturing facilities is a key component of successful enterprise development. As part of the regional action plan for jobs of 2015, I announced that IDA would invest 150 million over five years in property solutions designed to allow it to create opportunities to win additional projects for all regions. A part of this program of investment, IDA Ireland is building nine advanced facilities around the country, in particular locations where the private sector has been slow to build. This includes the delivery of an advanced facility in Galway. In marketing Galway as part of the West region, IDA Ireland not only promotes its own property portfolio but, where appropriate, advises prospective investors of uh, available privately owned properties that may be suitable. Enterprise Ireland does not provide office space or manufacturing facilities directly but has given its support to the provision of innovation or enterprise spaces. For example, it funded the NUI Galway Business Innovation Centre and the Innovation in Business Centre in, at GMIT, which provides spaces for spin-out companies, start-ups and entrepreneurs to establish their businesses. The record uh, results for 2015 for both IDA and Enterprise Ireland show that there are 21,575 people employed by client companies of the agencies in County Galway, an increase of uh, 2,964 since 2011. Come on, Mr. Deputy Sean Kine. Um, thank you, Minister, for the reply. I certainly welcome the uh, plans that have been put in place by government, as you said, 150 million over uh, five years. Um, the objectives in the, in the regional action plan for jobs and in the jobs action plan to monitor the implementation of policies in relation to the regional plans uh, is certainly welcome because it's not just a case of publishing plans but ensure that they're implemented and certainly the previous plans have been implemented. Um, as you said, there, there has been a considerable success in the IDA-supported job creation and over 60 co IDA-supported companies in, in Galway um, creating jobs and some nearly over 3,900 jobs created um, by IDA-backed companies since 2011, not to mention the indirect jobs to small and medium uh, enterprises. You were at a, a recent jobs announcement, Minister in Galway, that I was at and, and you, you uh, in your contribution, asked the, um, the, 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 the CEO um, to, to let you know of issues that he had, and he did mention the fact that the delays that he had in sourcing an adequate building uh, in the city of Galway. So this is something that absolutely has to be continue to be pushed uh, because it will be a, a sad day if we cannot create jobs for lack of space or lack of suitable buildings Thank in you. the city like Minister. Galway. I, I agree that this is important, and I think not only you know have we acted on this by acquiring now planning permission has been granted for a 40,000 square foot office space in Galway and the process uh, for delivery will be uh, selected in the coming year so we are moving ahead with that but I think uh, people who are private uh, property developers should also have confidence that the sort of flow of, of, of new wins by Galway uh, should give the private sector some confidence to also uh, commit to building uh, because there is a strong flow of investment. Galway is, is very successful. Uh, the record there speaks for itself. The companies within the Enterprise Ireland and IDA remit have seen a 15% increase in employment in the space of, of just uh, four years. So you know, there is a significant flow and we, we will uh, work uh, through the IDA's property section with the private sector to try to uh, give them the confidence to, to commit to invest where that can assist uh, in meeting some Thank of the needs of new investors. Deputy Sean Kine. Thank you, Minister, for your reply, and I certainly welcome the initiatives that have been taken, uh, have been taken as, I, as I said. Uh, will the IDA be pursuing other projects in terms of just even advancing towards planning permission? Because I know that even the planning process in this country can cause delays, and, and there are certain uh, instances in, in, in Galway as well. Um, obviously, I welcome the advancement of the 40,000 square feet uh, office uh, space, but even if they pursued other areas in terms of planning, uh, it may be um, an incentive um, to 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 uh, bring investment in other areas. There's uh, adequate IDA lands in in, in Athenry, um, in other areas, Parkmore and Dangan as well. Thank you, Minister, and more. Yeah, no, the, the deputy is absolutely right that the IDA seeks to to very actively promote its its property portfolio, and it has a a significant property for portfolio across. Um, 
nearly eight different locations across the county. Uh, so we clearly do seek to uh, promote those, those uh, as sources uh, which could provide the property solutions for, for companies who are investing. Uh, but I will also, on foot of, the, of your discussion, ask the IDA particularly to look at the uh, availability of space uh, throughout the Galway city and county uh, to have a particular look at uh, are there uh, initiatives that could be taken in addition to what's been done already to focus on uh, a decent flow of, of a property to meet the needs of investors. Come on, then that concludes question time for today.